Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be an update on Celtic's unending quest to find a Joe Hart replacement goalkeeper to be our number one for next season and several seasons after. And is in essence revisiting a video I did a month ago regarding Peter Vindel Jensen, who seems to have got to the top of Brendan Rodgers' shopping list for a new goalkeeper. Um, also a few wee other bits of Celtic news um, to update you on as well. Before we crack on with the video, please just a wee quick reminder for those new to the channel who like this video and the general content on the channel and all the wee other associated uh, features on the channel, please do click that subscribe button. Uh, keep the um, subscriber numbers pushing up uh, towards and past 700. That would be a brilliant um, birthday present for me in a few days' time. And as always, please do consider clicking the like button. Um, and always feel free to pop your pleasant, polite, constructive, debating, discussion, discussion points and opinions into the comment section so we can have a nice wee chat as fellow Celtic fans. Now, as I said, um, Celtic appeared now to have Peter Vindal Jensen of Sparta Prague at the top of their list for a Joe Hart replacement. Uh, Vindal Jensen um, only just signed for Sparta Prague back in March 2024 having had a successful loan period um, at Sparta Prague um, in 23-24 and uh, um, part of the preceding season as well. Now, in my previous um, video, I included some highlights um, from one of the YouTube channels and uh, since that time, uh, another YouTube Scouting channel has produced a detailed video and so I have popped in that, that video uh, in an extracted form um, so that you can have some additional information and video footage of Vindel Jensen in action. Peter Vindel Jensen is a Danish player, was previously in the Danish international squad, but never played an international match. And he has steadily dropped down the ranking amongst Danish goalkeepers. As he has had a couple of rocky spells in his career, although he does appear to have improved his performances since he went to Sparta Prague. He is six foot four, 26 years old, and looking at his uh, ratings for the 23-24 season in uh, the Czech League, he had a season rating of 7.12 with a very impressive save percentage of 76%. Uh, slightly in contrast when his Europa League games are looked at in isolation from Last season, his rating drops down to 6.93 and his save percentage drops down to 62%, which does suggest a higher level of football. His performances and his save percentages drop down quite significantly. At um, Sparta Prague, 47 games with 15 clean sheets and over his whole career at four professional clubs, 166 games and... 41 clean sheets, so averaging over, over his whole career uh, one clean sheet every four games. He did have a spell at AZ Alkmaar, which went very poorly, and for AZ, Alk AZ Alkmaar, his clean sheets percentage dropped down to one in every six games. Um, and from current stats for his spell at Sparta Prague, 
one clean sheet in every three games, which is obviously a good start. So I'm going to pop in those um, highlights from an alternative new uh, scouting source on YouTube for around about four minutes or so for the video. And then after that, we quick um, summary of what I think about Vindel Janssen based um, on the new footage and scouring lots and lots of videos, plus um, the two live matches I watched uh, of him playing against Liverpool in the last Europa League. <laughs>
grand. Um, so um, Celtic are believed to have gone back to Sparta Prague yet again and are bidding £8 million for Vindal Jensen. Um, I do find that quite surprising, given the fact that Sparta Prague paid £1.5 million pounds for him just only four or five months ago in March um, 2024, um, according to um, several transfer van transfer valuation sites. They're putting him down at around two to three million. It would appear that Brendan Rodgers is desperate to get Peter Vindel Jensen to the club. And so Celtic appear to me to be play, paying quite an inflated price of eight million pounds. Assuming again that Sparta Prague accept that bid and assuming that Vindel Jensen decides having settled only th uh, three, four months ago in Prague, that he now wants to move yet again and resettle in Scotland instead. Now, my own thoughts um, regarding Vindel Jensen is um, he looks a really decent goalkeeper, big goalkeeper, very good at spreading himself, very good at coming out to um, close down strikers, um, generally does have good quick reflexes, still to me seems a uh, goalkeeper who struggles with the high ball and crosses, struggles in a crowded uh, penalty box, doesn't really seem to take control of his six-yard box, doesn't seem to me the best at um, clearing his box when he's got the ball at his feet, doesn't seem the best at distributing the ball. Um, in a lot of the video clips um, in today's video, he seems to put his fellow defenders in trouble. And certainly in the game, the two games I watched live on TV of Sparta Prague playing Liverpool uh, earlier this year in the Europa League, um, a few times his clearances very much put his teammates in trouble and on a couple of occasions it led to goals um, and he doesn't seem very convincing with the ball at his feet, doesn't seem very convincing as a sweeper keeper from all the footage I've seen plus those two live matches on TV. However, there are uh, an increasing number of Celtic fans who are um, massively keen on Vindel Jensen, and so if Celtic's £8 million bid is successful and Vindel Jensen does choose to leave Prague and come to Glasgow, I, like all Celtic fans, will be desperate for him to be uh, the best possible goalkeeper, as we really need a top quality goalkeeper to replace Joe Hart in the longer term. So we'll need to see how things um, progress with Vindel Jensen. And at the same time, Celtic apparently have been inquiring with Atletico Madrid uh, with regards to their Romanian goalkeeper, Horatio Moldovan. Celtic apparently um, throughout 23-24 season was, was scouting Moldovan and did make inquiries um, with regards to um, buying Moldovan in the winter window or arranging for Moldovan to come to Celtic at the end of the 23-24 season. However, Moldovan chose to go to Atletico Madrid, where, unfortunately for him, he hasn't played a single game for Atletico Madrid and has remained on the bench and is very much their number two and has been saying in the press that he was promised that he would have um, regular games for Atletico Madrid and so is understandably very frustrated at his lack of playing time uh, in Madrid and he also has dropped to the number two uh, with Romania uh, most likely due to his lack of recent games and he is understandably frustrated and so is trying to get a move to another club to be the number one choice for the 24-25 season. Um, 
At this stage, it appears Celtic have just been making inquiries and there has been nothing more formal in the way of a bid. Now, some other Celtic news. Um, our two Japanese uh, stars, uh, Daisen Maida and Ryo Hitati, are both back in training with Celtic today. Um, I would doubt they'll be in the squad for uh, tomorrow's game against Queen's Park, but we fully expect they'll be uh, fully fit and match ready when we go off to America for our wee tour towards the end of July and certainly fully fit for the start of the season against Kilmarnock. There's also been a lot of transfer speculation for one of our young players. Uh, there are said to be six teams currently making inquiries about a permanent uh, deal to buy Bozen Lowell, um, Portsmouth, Derby, Birmingham and Wigan, Queen's Park Rangers, uh, all in the English Championship or English First Division and Fortuna Sittard from Holland. However, I hope Celtic do their absolute best to resist any temptation to sell Bozen Lowell as um, from his very good performances on loan last year at Fleetwood and his very positive um, feedback from his time playing for uh, Ireland under-21s recently, plus his very impressive uh, performance against Ayr. I think he's a player that Celtic should get into their first-team squad as a backup player, as he is very versatile, covering four or five uh, positions, which uh, can be very important over the course of a very busy season. And the final bit of news, um, Alexandro Bernabe, our Argentinian left-back who has had a rather rocky, unsuccessful time at Celtic. We sent him off on loan to a Brazilian club, SC Internacional. That loan was supposed to be for the duration of uh, 2024, with him ending his loan in December 24. However, he has only played one game so far for SC Internacional, and so apparently Celtic, as part of that loan agreement, are arranging a different loan for him, and it would appear that Independiente in the Argentinian League are lined up to take Barnaby for the rest of their season on loan instead, and hopefully he gets some playing time over there and can successfully arrange a transfer back to Argentina so that we can recoup some of the, the rather large transfer fee we have wasted on him. I think Burnaby actually is quite a talented player. I just don't think he really fits into Celtic's way of playing and I'm not convinced that his best position is at left back, I think he's much more likely to be a player pushed further forward into left-sided midfield or even as a wide player, as I don't think he's got the core defensive skills to be a left back uh, in all truth. <clears throat> so that just about finishes off today's video. Uh, no positive um confirmation or further news on Adam Ida or Paolo Bernardo, although the bulk of the Celtic news sites and journalism sites are um, confident that Celtic will get both Bernardo and Ida signed over the next week or so. Obviously, any updates we get on any of these players coming in or out of Celtic, I'll do my best to cover in future videos. And so for today, thanks for watching. Um, do feel free to click those subscribe, like and comment buttons. And so for today, goodbye and hail, hail.